Hello everyone, welcome back to the bonus episode of the Rank Up series. In this video, I'll be going over my very own replay, and hopefully I can learn for myself. Anyways, let's get right into the video. What is up everyone, welcome to the replay portion of the video, and before we get started, I just want to say this is like mid-high 1700s, low 1800s. Uh, Bop and my teammate here were both 1800s, so we're pretty close to SSL, uh, just based off the tags as well. <laughs> But yeah, right here I'm trying to grab some boost, I'm trying to go back, and I'm going to go over this, not like I do the the earlier parts of the series, but more of a uh, instrumental, kind of like uh, going over your, kind of how I go for my own replays, uh, pretty much take it how I do that there. So right here, this is what I call a good idea, because right here, I am trying to cover the, where is it? I'm trying to cover the 50 or like any sort of challenge he does. I do give up a lot of space, but he's pretty close to the ball. So there's no reason for me to like uh, rush it for any reason. This bop guy right now is AFK. So I could just rush it and play really aggressive. But I also knew that my teammate was low enough on boost to where, you know, if I miss the ball, he's not going to be that useful in like a way to cover the net unless he comes across right away. So... I try to close the gap, challenge it instantly, so the opponent who is already down <laughs> a player is not very, uh, doesn't have that much space. Now right here, I try to close down the gap. I go for a demo here, just try to, okay, I didn't realize this earlier, but I actually do demo him here. I do, if I slow this down to 25 here, you guys might see the sparks. Yeah, complete sparks. So that's why I turned my camera back on again, just to see like where my teammate is, because right here I realize, oh, he should be demoed, but you know, it's me, so he's not demoed, he almost gets a goal out of it. And then I don't know this at that moment, but Bop the teammate is back. So yeah, right now I realize I can take my time. The the guy's not on me right away. So I can take this raise jumps for some reason really early and it gives me a perfect opportunity to just take it low and keep it close. The main thing is keeping it close so that if he comes down, I can just try and 50 it and hopefully it goes to my teammate, right? That's the main idea. Only, only way to improve that play is maybe better control, but right here, like, as I say in all my replays, cheat up. This is probably the most common cheat up. This is a little bit far back, which is why I get to roll forward, kind of, like, how do I describe it? It's, uh, I get to flip forward, carry my, mom my momentum, and just drive, and then react to where the kickoff goes. Luckily, it goes a little, a little bit slightly, like, slightly more on our side, as you can see here, so I don't have to expend all of my boost. But I do that pretty much anyways, just to make sure I don't get like a, a fake 50. And right here, you can see me go up and wide. Just because I want to dem or not demonstrate, I want to show to my teammate with my cart, which is why uh, car movement and like understanding it is so important, especially like when you're on uh, offense. From my teammate's perspective here, uh, this whole play here, I demonstrate that I'm not going for it, right? He may not have seen me the whole time. But, you know, I'm demonstrating that I'm not going for it. I'm turning away from it, which gives him the opportunity to do whatever he wants with the ball, right? Just hitting it away isn't the best, but, you know, we're chilling. Gets a second opportunity, he hits it. Right here, I play really aggro, and you could say that this could be a mistake, but my opponent wasn't ready for it, so it benefited me here. The only reason this does work is because my t opponent wasn't ready for it. Because if you see my teammate in the corner here, very low, pretty much zero boost. And I pretty much overextend. And, uh, but it works though, because, you know, my teammate just is the goat. Just reads the opponent there. And it also kind of stays in the corner. So my teammate can go up for it again, like he did here. A good read yet again on my teammate's half. Now right here, I'm trying to stall the ball in the middle, or have it go to my teammate, either or. 
So I try to cut it off. I don't remember if he called back left or not, but regardless, it goes to him. This turn is kind of poor. I should be cutting in just a little bit more. And right here, you can see me go behind him. That's because I'm ready for like a challenge from the uh, opponents to, you know, get rid of the ball in my teammates half. Which is why I cover back over here. I then realize like, oh, it pops up to you, to all you plats and diamonds out there that would jump at this. Look how far away I am from the ball and look how close the opponent is. The opponent also is using boost, so his momentum is going to be faster than mine. And if I jump for this, like, the only reason, only way I can beat this guy here, in my eyes at least, is if I jump right here. I could, yes, but he could also just go up the wall and meet me at the 50. So it's, it's pointless either way, and we get a lovely little uh, poor touch from Reyes here that, you know, just, I'm ready for because I don't jump. I'm ready for it, and I'm also carrying my momentum and my nose towards where I think the ball is going to go, aka the other side of the field, right? Or other side of the the half here. And I read it right, because I stay grounded, and it's really important to stay grounded when you don't need to jump, right? So, because I stayed grounded, I got to the ball, and there there's a goal for our team. Instead of it going over my head and being a goal for their team, because my teammate's in the corner. With yet again, no boost. Right here, I'm trying to solve for my teammate. This is what you want to see on offense here. When you're on the offense, this is what you love to see. A ball high above the opponent. And leads to another goal. Very perfect. And that's why I think kickoffs are so important. Right here, yet again. I beat the opponent to the ball. I take it up. This could have been a lot better. Right. A play, a way to keep this closer to me and make it a little bit better is I go for the boost here, but I I slow down just like I tap my L2 uh, just a little bit harder than I did. I think I think you can tell that I tried to hit it at least a little bit, but I think my momentum and boost usage just canceled it out. But yeah, if I were to make this better, I try to tap it lightly and just follow it here. I tried to make it a little more complicated and a little bit fancier than it needed to be. But, you know, regardless, it got to my teammate. I could do many things here. And I think this was not the best option, but a decent option. Because I turned up field and applied more pressure to the opponent. I know he's, like, not at full boost, because I've kind of been tracking him this whole time. Right, off kickoff, I beat him to the boost. So, in my mind, it's like, uh, Reyes has zero here. And his teammate probably went for the back boost, which means he still is at like zero or very low. His teammate child, so he's used a little bit of boost. I grab this corner boost, so Reyes doesn't have any three of the hundreds. So either he's picked up a lot of pads, or he has very low boost. And as you can see, my assumption is right. He is very low boost. So I play into that, and I try to get him off the ball, bump him. I could have made a better turn here instead of going out and psycho- uh, not psychoing. Uh, filtering out, cycling out, that's what I was going for. I could go for a bump or a demo here and maybe help my teammate. Maybe go for a bump and demo on Bop here just to clear out uh, more field, right? Bop slows down though, so I'm not ready for that. And my car, like, turning and momentum wouldn't be able to get a solid demo on the opponent. Unless, you know, you're the opponent, which you can demo me at any time at any speed, apparently. So it goes over, almost over my teammate. This is where the ball goes up. And my job here as first man is to stall or, you know, take the ball away from the opponent. As I've said before, it gets over me. No biggie, right? Teammate's there. A little bit low on boost. Honestly, I kind of rushed this play. I expected Bop, or not Bop, Reyes here to turn and go for the ball, which is why I jumped so early. Just to, like, meet him. Which... You know, if I take more time, I collect more pads, I can make a better second play. Or I could just be ready for the, the boost that just spawns. Either or. So I go back here. This could be, like, good and bad. 
like this position here. I'm ready for the pinch across, but luckily my teammate gets a hold of it, like just a little touch above. I'm trying to take this slow, kind of trying to kill some time because we're up 4-0. And if you've seen any of my streams, you know that uh, I lose those sometimes. Almost got a cheeky goal there. And this is really important. Right here, you can hear my uh, my opponent's car next to me. So I'm trying to get in the way of his like immediate shot and like a way to 50 it at worst. But I know he doesn't jump because I don't hear him jump. And I backflip and I just try to get it as far away as our net as possible. I try to put some challenge here, or some pressure, not challenge. By doing a slight little challenge. I could... Honestly, I think I'm I'm all good here. If you guys do see anything that maybe I missed or just glossed over, uh, do let me know. I'm trying to improve, believe it or not. <laughs> so that's just a bad touch. That's just me not getting hitting in the right spot. So that's just a that's a mechanics issue. That's all that is. That one can be worked on. But my teammate almost gets there, and I somehow don't get the really cool. Uh, backboard double tap reset thing and only get a regular double tap but for me that is a lot better than not getting the goal at all and yeah they forfeit with 243 left uh i put up some decent numbers but yet again only way that this is a little bit better is if i get this directly on target or uh i just pass it right to him teammate puts in the effort and all I have to do is finish it. And boom, we finish it. Main, main like, takeaway is, yet again, not to rush. If you have time, take your time. That's how I scored the first goal here, is because I took my time. All of this, this happening right here, besides, like, getting an unfortunate, like, non-demo, is because I took my time. I'm moving my camera so much here, because I'm trying to check the field. I'm trying to check where my teammate is and the opponent. I try to catch the ball. It gets off me a little bit, so I'm like, that's not good. But I see him in the air, and I'm like, what is he doing? And I try to play the 50 to where... Right. Little, little funny tech here. Is if you space yourself out from the ball just a little bit and have them 58 into you, you're most more likely to win the 50. Some, some sort of way. But I scored that goal because... I didn't rush it, but a little bit later in the <laughs> a little bit later in the game, I completely go back on that, right? I jump here really early. Like if I grab another 12, I didn't pay attention to what Reyes was doing, and this is why watching your opponents is so important. Because, you know, if I realize he's gonna go back a little bit sooner than, you know, when I'm double jumping, uh it could have turned out a little bit better. Although we didn't get scored on. And we maintain possession. Uh, we're still, we're still looking for ways to improve, right? Again, trying to cut off the pass, trying to cut off the second, and we don't panic. That's that's the main thing. I'm wary of, and right here, the reason why I don't like crumble, I guess, and like back off is because, based off his car, like. If he continues to hit it forward, he just hits it across and over to my teammate, possibly. But mainly to the uh, his teammate, uh, Bob's teammate. But the reason I don't go away is because I'm also aware of the fake. right? It's extremely super obvious that he goes to the other side. But I'm also trying to play into the uh, op option that he doesn't go and that he fakes it. So that maybe, maybe here, instead of breaking... I could go for a bump demo, but, you know, he's a little too far up on the wall for me to, like, before the boost, uh, for me to go up and demo him, because he could just jump off the wall. I'll try to get a bump. Play ends. It's all good. Mechanical error here. And it's mechanical because it involves with flips and just where to hit it on your car. If I hit it here you can kind of see where the sparks are i hit it up here if i hit it right right here uh it's going to be a lot better but you know i hit it up here and it's just going to sail this way instead of this way but yeah 
main takeaways from this take your time uh don't rush yourself in the plays that you don't need to uh make sure to watch your opponent's cars and every little movement counts which is why i read the the wall play here decently well i didn't get exactly what i wanted but you know i decently read it and yeah hope you guys did enjoy hope you guys did learn something and i'll see you in the next one peace